Gary standing by with an extremely special guest here on Jackie Robinson night, standing by with his son, his youngest son, David Robinson, who is kind enough to give us a few moments here. And David, thank you so much for that. Um, you know, one of the things that I, I'm always wondering about with, with children of transformative figures is when did you realize that your father did as much as he did and meant as much as he did to so many across the country and the world? Well, we felt it as children that he was a father who was home and was working at, as being a father. So we were blessed to have that when we were little. But as you say, recognizing his role in, 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 in American social development, I drove for him when I was 18 or 19 to various events and standing in the back of the room and hearing the accolades, you know, and, and the appreciation and the praise. That's when I began to, to understand a fuller picture of the dynamics. I've heard you say in the past that your father was a man of small words, but yeah. big actions. Right? Few, few, few words, words and big, yes, big actions. Yes, yes. What actions did you see that shaped you? Well, the story probably is... Saturday morning, 8 o'clock, I'm supposed to be out cutting the grass, and I hear the lawnmower start up because I'm in bed, and my father is doing my job cutting the grass. That was an action that he shamed me in. Um, I have been with him in trips on the, to the March on Washington, to various uh, fundraising events, various speeches that he gave. Those were all, you know, uh, proud moments that, that, that gave us, a, a, again, another vision of our father. David, so much at this point is known about your father. Is there one aspect of his life or your personal interactions with him as his child that you think people don't truly have a, a full picture and understanding of? I think the biggest thing that he would say, even about an event like today, that there's something to celebrate and some, a legacy, but that legacy is about action and about action today because the issues are not solved. He would never have wanted anyone to feel about his life or about real conditions that we had solved the problem. And, and so he would not like to see only celebration. He would like to see, and I, I think that's something that, that we all need to understand, that, that the, cele the, the celebrities um, in life can be mo about more than, than they're reaching a certain level. And he certainly wanted people to understand that it wasn't about him, it was about what he could introduce into society and those challenges, he would say, are still before us today. It's a wonderful message, and I know you just said it's not only about celebrating today, but the one thing I think is only worth celebrating right now is Rachel. Oh. 101. And still looking as as you know wonderful as ever. Uh, how how is she right now? Fantastic, uh, you know, 101, 102 in, in July, and on her good moments are as as sharp as a tap. Um, and she's the legacy of of perseverance, you know, and 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 st and she has um, about. 12, 15, I don't know how many grandchildren, you know, but she's able to, to transfer information, knowledge, attitude, you know, and all the grandchildren know her expressions is, you know, onward and upward. David, I know it's been a number of years now since your father passed. I'm just curious, on a day-to-day on a -day basis, how much do you still think about him and, and his legacy? <sighs> You're somebody's child every day, you know, so um, what he left us and, and, and both the opportunity and the responsibility, uh, it's something uh, that, as he did, he made a career not out of baseball but about human development. And he's transferred that to his kids. And so I'm out there every day struggling. 
with his uh, direction and mission, but the direction and mission of, of, of all people who have been oppressed. There's always struggle. And he, wouldn't, he knows that his, gran his grandmother was born a slave. He knows his mother was a sharecropper. So he knows he's carrying a multi-generational struggle to achieve. And so today we're in that same position. We just have a few more generations behind us. David, thank you so, so much for your time here. Okay, right. my pleasure.